I'm Doug Stanhope, and that's why I drink. It seems like the old-timey stunt shows of years gone by have been reinvigorated and are making a comeback, where you got Nick Walendo tiptoeing across the Grand Canyon on a tightrope. And he did it well, almost too well, to the point where it didn't even seem dangerous at all, which kind of sucked all the gas out of it. If there's little or no entertainment value other than just hoping that you die, I might as well watch you walk down the highway and pray you get hit by a car. And speaking of praying, oh my god, did you do a lot of praying out there, which the cameras caught every 10 feet you stopping to pray to Jesus. Thank god you were mic'd up. Oh, I praise you, Jesus. Calm those winds in the name of Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. While you were doing all that praying, remember, there were a million of us praying that you would fall spread eagle on your balls on the wire, spin upside down, and cascade into the Colorado River where you would be nothing but catfish food. But why is it your daredevil stunts get you all sorts of applause and accolades? Why do the same rules not apply to me? I take unnecessary risks with my own life all the time, usually with my brain and chemicals. I'm out doing mocaine in the desert. Mocaine is uh, when you grind up your mushrooms in a coffee grinder and then chop them up with your cocaine. And I wouldn't suggest that kids try that at home either. It's the worst mistake you'll ever make. How is that any different than some asshole extreme sports douchebag that's, oh, hey, uh, Mount Hood has got a big uh, dangerous snowstorm coming in, so please don't go up there. And you race up there on purpose and you get buried in an avalanche. And oh, God, the National Guard's out looking for you. And then everyone clears out of the bar and they're sticking pool cues in the snow banks, hoping to hit hot meat to save you. I spin out in the middle of Death Valley on Mocaine. Ah, no one's coming to rescue me. Am I heralded? No, I'm looked at as a bad example for other people to learn from. Don't do that because you're an extreme guy and your adventure and daredevil antics, they give you a rock hard abs. And what do I get on my adventure out on hallucinogens in the desert? Nothing but maybe some deeper insight and some empathy for the human condition. And what's that worth, really? Not shit.